Today we are going to be learning about probability. We will see how to calculate the probability of something happening by looking at some examples. Probability is the chance that something will happen or how likely it is that an event will occur. We can write the probability of an event as a number between 0 and 1. A probability of 0 means that the event will never happen. A probability of 1 means that the event will always happen. A probability of 0.5 means that the event is equally likely to happen or not to happen. This probability is sometimes called a 50-50 chance event. Let's see an example with a probability of 0.5. Imagine there are two mystery boxes. Box 1 and box 2. In one of the boxes there is a prize, and the other box is empty. And you are told to pick one box. If you choose the box that contains the prize, you win, you get the prize. If you choose the empty box you get nothing. Remember, we don't know which box contains the prize. What is the probability of choosing the box with the prize? We can calculate the probability of choosing the box with the prize by doing the following fraction. The number of times the event can occur, in this case, choosing the box with the prize, divided by the total number of events. In our case there are two possible outcomes, empty box, or box with prize. That means two events in total. So we have, total number of events equal to 2. Number of times the event can occur, is equal to 1, because we can only choose one box. That gives us 1 divided by 2 which is equal to 0.5. We have 50-50 chance to choose the box with the prize. Suppose you want to know the probability of rolling a 6 when you roll a die. How do you calculate this probability? As we know, we can roll 6 possible outcomes when rolling a die. We can roll a 1. We can roll a 2. We can roll a 3. We can roll a 4. We can roll a 5, or we can roll a 6. We can use the ratio or fraction we used earlier to calculate the probability of rolling a 6. The number of times the event can occur divided by the total number of events. So we have, number of times the event can occur, is equal to 1, because there is only one face with a 6 on it. And, total number of events equal to 6, because there are 6 faces altogether. That gives us 1 divided by 6 which means a 1 in 6 chance of rolling a 6 when a die is thrown. Similarly, we can calculate the probability of rolling a 1 when we roll a die. We use the same procedure. So we have, number of times the event can occur is equal to 1 because there is only one face with a 1 on it. And, total number of events equal to 6 because there are 6 faces altogether. That gives us again 1 divided by 6, which means a 1 in 6 chance of rolling a 1 when a die is rolled. In the same way, we can calculate the probability of rolling any face on the die, giving us always the same result. Easy right? Let's look at another example together. Now imagine we would like to know the probability of rolling a 2 or a 3 when a die is thrown. That is, if we roll a 2 the event occurs. But the event also occurs if we roll a 3. That means we have twice the chance of the event occurring. To calculate this probability we use the same procedure. The number of times the event can occur divided by the total number of events. So we have, number of times the event can occur is equal to 2 because as we have just seen there are two equally valid events. Rolling a 2 or rolling a 3. 
and total number of events equal to 6, because there are 6 faces altogether. That gives us 2 divided by 6, which means a 2 in 6 chance of rolling a 2 or a 3 when a die is thrown. What is the probability of rolling a 4 or a 6 when a die is thrown? If we roll a 4 the event happens, but if we roll a 6 the event also occurs. That's right. The answer is 2 sixths, which is a 2 in 6 chance. Now imagine we would like to know the probability of rolling a 1, or a 2 or a 3, when a die is thrown. That is, if we roll a 1 the event occurs. If we roll a 2 the event occurs. And if we roll a 3 the event also occurs. That means we have 3 times the chance of the event happening. To calculate this probability we use the same procedure. So we have, number of times the event can occur, is equal to 3, because there are 3 equally valid events. Rolling a 1, rolling a 2 or rolling a 3. And, total number of events is again equal to 6, because there are 6 faces on the die. That gives us 3 divided by 6, which means a 3 in 6 chance of rolling a 1, a 2 or a 3, when a die is thrown. 3 divided by 6 is equal to 0.5, which means we have a 50-50 probability. What is the probability of rolling a 4 when you roll a die? That's right. The answer is 1 sixth, which is a 1 in 6 chance. What is the probability of rolling a 4 or a 3 when you roll a die? That's right. The answer is 2 sixths, which is a 2 in 6 chance. What is the probability of rolling a 3, or a 4 or a 5, when you roll a die? That's right. The answer is 3 sixths, which is a 3 in 6 chance. And what is the probability of rolling a 7? when you roll a die. That's correct. The answer is zero, which means it will never happen, because there is no face with a seven on our die. All right, that is the end of this video. I hope you understood everything, and I see you again in the next video.